Um, okay, the next trace that I'm going to use is, is actually traces for sharks. Um, yeah, if, if there's actually for any type of fish, but if there's any sharks and something with teeth in the water, you actually need to put some um, metal on your hook, snoot, otherwise they're going to bite it off. So it's the same length and everything. What I normally use, I use a 50% um, piece of uh, nylon coated or carbon coated wire, and then also 0.7 or 0.8 on the on the top part of that. And, the, and then, uh, yeah, the, the nylon coated steel is about anything between 60 for a 6 out of 80, 60, 80, somewhere around there, and then for an 8 I'll go up to a 90 or 100, 100, 120, and then for bigger hooks. Like a 10 I'll use 150, maybe 200. All depends on the size of the, size of the fish you're actually targeting. Okay, what I'm also going to do is I can. This is a 6 that you now, so I'm going to go up to a, a little medium bait carry, a little bit bigger one. The same scenario, I'm going to put it in there, just scrimp it on. Just make sure it doesn't come off, put it there. Okay, the next bait I'm going to make is more for any type of flash fish, any type of shark. Not very big shark. Sharks in the region of about anything between 5 to about 15 kilos. Um, somewhere around there. And also some flat fish, brown skates. Um, some diamonds also like this bait. Um, but yeah, so what we do is you'll take the, the chocolate, you'll cut the strip, you'll eat it again with the hammer. And what I like to do is I like to cut little diamonds out of it. So you get about three diamonds out. You see, and you get that little section on the, on the corners there. You take that, you throw that away. You get three diamonds like that, so you can separate them. You can put one there. And... Okay. And I like to use, uh, especially on the south coast and, and the north coast, the red eye sardine. Um, I will take that. So what I will do is the first cut <coughs> that I will do is I will cut the bottom section here. See that that's what happens if it's frozen already. Sorry, one second. You cut it away like that. So that bottom part I normally don't use. And then I will cut the little diamond out there. Now if it's frozen, it actually makes a nice diamond, like, like a nice and flat diamond. So you take one of that, another one like that. Okay. So what I will do then is I will take the bait carrier. Take a cutlet and you will put it on there. Take the hook away. Take the other cutlet. We're just on the other side. I will do it like this, and I will take this diamond uh, chokas and I will put it on there. You will see it makes it, the diamonds make it actually quite a nice shape. Just want to cut that one off. Make sure bait and your hook is not in, so you take your hook. Looking tight. Awesome bait. Okay. Awesome. Now you've got your bait. Perfect.